Yum, yum. Ah, well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name is Chris. Uh, right now I'm in ZBrush doing a little bit of detailing with uh, Alpha and my displacement brush and drag rectangle set. I'm trying to get a good angle on these eyes. And uh, I, I played with it a little bit already, and I didn't bother recording that part as I was working out some of the issues. But uh, you'll see how this kind of working out. I had to uh, play with the alpha a little bit to get a nice curve on it, but that wasn't too hard. I pulled that off in uh, Affinity Photo, just bending things around and warping some images. You can see those are the images I was playing with there. All right, I'm just trying to get an idea what to do here, but it's not really going to work too well. So I've got just the basic, and I really don't think I need to pull them in too much more. It's just not going to work out. You can see me kind of tinkering with that there. All right, so I kind of like what I'm seeing. I'm going to go change the alpha. Uh, i got to go find my other one. This is the one I used on the regular part of the face. The same thing, I use that drag rectangle and my displacement brush. I'm going to store a morph target on these eyes just in case I want to go back to zero point or erase back. So now I'm just putting some detail in there that really the normal map will be picking up. Just breaks things up a little bit and it, it'll blend a little nicer into the uh, surrounding eye socket area. So it's nothing too complicated. Once you've got your shapes down and you want to keep them, uh, it's just a matter of just putting some interesting details in interesting places. And I don't want to do too much with the eyeballs because they do a lot. They're going to get a lot of uh, basically, uh, what do you call it, uh, deformation and a lot of bending. So I want to be careful I don't put too much into it that... Uh, the details will get warped out of position. That should be pretty pretty okay. Maybe I turn that other one off. Turn the little antenna back on, and I'm going to send this over to Keyshot for a quick look, see see what happens. So I change the image a little bit so I can get a landscape look. I'm just trying to see right now to make sure that this sit into place with the rest of the uh, details. Nothing jumps out as too detailed or not detailed enough or just details that don't fit well together. That's one of the tough parts about putting the finishing parts onto a model is making sure everything fits together, everything looks like it flows together, and it kind of looks like it belongs together. So over here in Keyshot, I'm just playing around with some of the simplest, uh, simplest of settings. They're very low. Uh, the lighting quality is okay for what I'm doing right here, but you can jack it up pretty good. I think I'm going to go change the uh, background here in a second. Yeah, here we go. The environment. I wanted to play with some other colors. Or not other colors, but just other uh, plates. Trying to find out which one was which. That wasn't it. Okay, there it is. That's this one right here. I kind of like to use a lot just because it, the background just changes around. It flows into itself pretty well. It gives some interesting looks. Again, key shots a nice little uh, bonus add-on for ZBrush if you like to do a lot of this kind of a quick looking to see how things are going to sit on the model without having to go into another application. All right, I think I'm pretty happy. Bye. Yum, yum.